Hello, I'm Dr. Yasser, uh, professor of otolaryngology at the Department of Otolaryngology, Alexandria University, Egypt. I will uh, present in the next few minutes uh, an interesting case uh, about septal collapse following submucous resection. Uh, the clinical history, he was a patient who underwent septal surgery and turbid reduction since one year. Uh, he started to complain of nasal obstruction with inspiration and uh, sleep disturbance. He tried medical treatment in the form of nasal sprays and external nasal splints with no improvement. Endoscopic evaluation was done. It revealed the central septum and uh, the turbinates were preserved but reduced in size. Uh, when you look to the following video, you will see what happened to this patient after the surgery. Uh, if you look using the endoscope, you will see that the septum is central, but once the patient will start to inhale or to inspire, you will see the collapse of the septum because of the markedly uh, thin septum. This patient and the one submucous resection. The surgeon has preserved only a small part of the cartilage at the distal end of the septum and the dorsal septum, but he removed almost entirely the uh, cartilaginous framework of the septum. The septum became very thin to the degree that it will collapse with inspiration. This is an example of taking lightly the septal surgery removing the entire septal cartilage is not acceptable now we have the technique of the targeted septoplasty and even we can do it by using the endoscope and we have to preserve as much as we can of the septal cartilage to preserve the framework of the septum treatment of this patient is very difficult because doing a, a surgery in a revision case is not easy you have to, Im, uh, uh, to do an implant of a rigid tissue within the uh, septum in order to maintain its position during inspiration. So the message is try to preserve the cartilage and to try to preserve the framework of the septum as much as you can. Thank you.